In item 3 on our agenda, we now look at new features that support creating mobile applications. First, the participant determination approach were extended. Now, you can determine the SAP user that should process movelet replies either using the participant key directly or using a determination procedure. Additionally, the participant routine was extended to allow movelets being sent out without participants. So the Movilizer Cloud will respect the assignments and update the movelet accordingly. The event management transaction was extended, so it can now be used to configure business transaction event linkages directly and also manage body implementations. We also added the feature to have a relevance routine for BTE events. Using this you can more easily filter BTE events that are not required in your scenario. So the connector will process fewer events which will increase the performance. Further, you can either choose whether the follow-up action of a BTE event should be processed synchronous or asynchronously. By using the synchronous processing, you save one RFC queue entry, which also could speed up the, perf the, the performance in high-load scenarios. The delaying events globally feature is intended to be used in upgrade scenarios. So whilst upgrading for example the mobilizer connector, you can delay all events. Then all events that occur are not processed by the mobilizer for SAP connector, but rather stored in an intermediate table and then can be processed later after the upgrade has finished. In Scenario, there is the new Update Relevant Fields feature. This means that you can define a set of fields for your business process that are relevant for an update on the mobile device. Setting or defining such a set will prevent the connector to generate new movelets in case unimportant fields that are not relevant for the mobile scenario changed due to an event in the system. Further, the scenario configurator now supports to reposition steps in a scenario. This means you can copy-paste steps within the business process. Further, the customizing options of the Scenario Configurator have been extended, so it now offers to hide back buttons on a screen. The Common Application Step Image Capture has been extended to also use the, to support several image sources. Now you can choose whether the image source should be the device's camera or should be the gallery of your mobile phone's photos. The Movilizer transaction movie doc pools has been introduced. The transaction 
enables you to manage Movilizer documents in the same manner or in the same approach as you also manage your master data today. You can also link a document now or a document access object to events so you can update your documents based on events in your SAP system. So your documents in the Movilizer Cloud will remain up to date all the time. A further performance improvement is that you can define an own HTTP connection for sending out Movilizer documents. This increases the performance over the web service based sending if you have large documents. The connector will decide on the, based on the size of the document whether it will send a document over the web service interface or over the document connection. To better scale the load that Movilizer for SAP Connector puts on the system, you can provide specific RFC connections that will be used to handle the RFC queues used by the Movilizer. You can define RFC queue, RFC queue names based on the area of the Movilizer. So you can have a specific connection for sending movelets, a specific connection for master data, for BTE events, etc. Also the Movilizer participant management transactions got new enhancement. So in the, in the CPAM you are now able to manage and define actions. Actions are something like sending out a movelet for a particular business process to a participant in, in the CPAM. An example would be that for, uh, the notification creation scenario. Notification creation movelets are usually sent out once to a participant and then reside on the device of the participant for a longer period of time. And the CPAM actions are the approach to handle such the sending of such movelets. The following slides show a bit more in detail how you define a CPAM action template, how you implement the behavior of the action and how you register it in the Movilizer CPAM transaction. A further new feature of the CPAM is that you can define or register events based on the CPAM actions. So you can trigger and react on, for example, a participant created event and trigger follow up actions. A further usability improvement is that you can apply filters to display and modify participants. In the area of master data, we enhance the master data sending by an automatic replication setting. So you can define a period in which a certain master data pool should be sent out over and over again. This complements the event-based sending of master data. Additionally, the naming of the QRFC that processes the master data has been extended. Now it is possible
to name the QRC that processes the master data sending after the name of the pool. Using this feature makes it easier to determine the corresponding actions of a master data pool in the in the in the QRFC transaction SMQ1.